Welcome to Yoga Lady. So I'm going to talk you through a yoga session. Um, we're going to start lying on our backs and before we begin I'd just like to remind you to work really gently and lovingly with your body. I mean what I mean is just don't push into any pain, don't do anything that doesn't feel good and listen to your body. Okay so let's come to lying down, lie down onto your back and Let's start with the legs bent. So if you just press down into the soles of your feet, drop the knees together, rest your hands onto your belly, lengthen the back of your neck and feel the weight of your body surrendering down to the earth. Take a breath in through your nose and then as you exhale, feel your body becoming even more heavy and even more relaxed. So starting to tune in with your breath here. With every exhalation, a sense of release. And with every inhalation, a sense of bringing new life, new vitality to your body. Good. And now let's bring the knees in towards the chest and bring the hands around the shins. And then rock from side to side across the sacrum, massaging the lower back. Extend the arms and the legs up towards the ceiling, stacking up the bones and the joints. And then circle through the ankles and circle through the wrists, circling one way and then circling the other way. And then just shaking out the arms and shaking out the legs and bringing your knees in towards your chest and bringing the soles of the feet flat down onto the ground. And then taking the right ankle over the left thigh and drawing the right knee away. So it might be that you stay with this or you might lift up your left leg, catch hold of the back of the left thigh and draw the left knee in towards you. Pressing the sacrum down to the ground, keeping the shoulders heavy, back of the neck nice and long. Good. And then from here we're going to drop down onto the left big toe. And then drop both legs over to the right. So you can keep your legs in this shape. Drop them down to the right. And then extend the left arm out to the left. Turning to look out over the left hand. Stay with a calm and steady flow of breath. And then inhale back through to centre. And bring the right foot flat down onto the ground. Take the left ankle over the right thigh. Start to draw the right knee, I mean the left knee, away. You might stay with that or you might pick up your right leg, catch hold of the back of the right thigh and then draw the right knee in towards you and press your lower back down. Good and then come down onto your right big toe and drop both legs over to the left and turn to look to the right and extend the right arm out to the side. Really soften that right shoulder down. Feel the breath. Keep bringing your awareness back to the breath. And then inhale back through to centre. Drop both feet flat down onto the ground again. See if you can tickle the backs of your heels. And now you want your feet to be about hip width apart, outer edges parallel. Take a breath in through your nose. As you breathe out, press down into your feet. Lift up the tailbone. Start to lift up through the spine. And as you do that, reach your arms up and over your head so that you come to lying on the shoulders. Gently engaging the glutes to lift the pelvis and drawing the knees away from the body and drawing the chest towards the chin. Good. And then from here, slowly lower down, vertebrae at a time, and let the arms come down at the same time. Bring the knees into the chest. You can either rock and roll along your spine to come up or roll onto one side. Make your way up to sitting and if you want to sit onto a cushion or a yoga block then you could have one handy and just perch onto it, snuggling your sit bones down to the ground, lengthening up to the crown of the head, softening the shoulders away from the ears and just let the elbows hang down under the shoulders. Take a moment to scan through the body, checking in with the right and the left hand side of the body and seeing how balanced you feel. And then bringing the hands together, noticing the points of connection between your hands, so the places where the hands meet. Drawing the thumbs in towards the breastbone, breathing into your heart space, and breathing out completely. 
and then breathing into the space around the heart and the back of the heart and breathing out. Inhale the arms up. As you exhale, take your elbows wide, spread fingers and then glide the shoulder blades down the back. So you feel you're really opening and broadening the front side of the body. Bring the hands back together, inhaling up and then exhaling wide and down. Bring the hands together, inhaling the arms up, exhaling elbows wide and down. And then bring the hands onto the knees, drop the right ear towards the right shoulder. Just really let your head go heavy there and then reach into the left arm, lightly touching fingertips to the ground. Soften the jaw, the tongue, the throat. Inhale the head up. Drop the left ear towards the left shoulder and reach into the right arm. Let go of your head. And then inhale the head up. Drop the chin to the chest. Inhale the head up. Turn your face up towards the ceiling opening up the throat area, and then come back through to centre. Let's bring the right hand onto the left knee, left hands behind. Keep the spine really lovely and long. And then as you exhale, start to spiral over to the left. Feeling this in the upper back. So if you've got any lower back issues at all, just work really carefully with the lower back and twist more into the upper back. Good, and then come back through to centre and bring your left hand onto your right knee and your right hands behind you. Inhale as you lengthen upwards, and then exhale as you turn. Good, and then come back through to centre, and bring your hands down onto the ground. Come onto the fingertips. You might drop the chin to the chest. You might just be here, or you might walk your hands forward, coming onto elbows and forearms, or reaching the arms all the way forward, and then folding in. As you exhale, feel how the breath combined with gravity takes you deeper into this forward fold. And then walk the hands gently in towards you. And from here, we're gonna transition onto all fours, bringing the heels of the hands under the shoulders, having the knees under the hips. Let's tuck the toes and then inhale and swoop the body forward. And then exhale, sinking your bum towards your heels. Inhaling forwards and then exhaling back. Inhaling forwards and exhaling back. Come back through to centre and then circle. Shoulders around wrists and hips around knees. Nice fluid movements. Feeling into the hips. And then circle the other way. Good, coming back through to centre, breathing in, lifting your heart forwards and up. As you breathe out, draw the navel back, drop the chin to the chest, lift up the space at the back of the heart. Inhale as you extend the spine, exhale, arch back. Inhale to the extension, exhale, arch back. Come back through to centre. Slide your right leg back, coming onto the ball of your right foot. Identify your left arm and then reach the left arm forward and raise the right leg. So there's one line of energy from the left hand all the way down into the right heel. Good, take this for a few breaths. And then bring the left hands down and the right knee down and slide your left leg back, come onto the ball of the foot. Identify the right arm, reach the right arm forward and the left leg back. Good and then bring your right hands down and your left knee down. Let's take the knees wide, big toes together. Sink your bum onto your heels, reach the arms forward. You might come right up onto your fingertips and then melt the heart down. Armpits are open wide. And then you're broadening across the sacrum and bringing your breath into the back body. So you're breathing into that space at the back of the heart. And then all the way down to the sacrum. Good. And then just looking towards your hands, plant your hands down, spread the fingers out nice and wide, have the middle fingers parallel and facing forward. And then come up onto your knees, bringing your knees under your hips and tuck your toes. And then lift up the hips. 
with your knees bent, come onto the balls of the feet, let go of your head, give your head a little shake or a little nod, and then start to draw one heel down at a time towards the ground. So you're walking out your dog. Good, and then from here, let's raise up the right leg, reach up into the heel, so you're in a three-legged dog pose now. And then bring your right knee in towards your chest and step your right foot forward and come onto your left knee. Establish your foundation, so you might press that left shin down, stack the right knee over the right heel, and then sweep the arms up, thumbs back, palms in. So you're in a low lunge. And you're drawing the chest away from the pelvis, but staying really grounded and stable through your foundation. Let's bring the hands onto the knee and then sweep the left arm over to the left, turning to look out over the hand. Bring the left hand back onto the right knee and then sweep the right arm over to the right. And then bring the right hand back onto the right knee. Drop both hands to frame the right foot, tuck the back toes. Raise up your right leg, reach right up into the heel, you're back in a three-legged dog pose. And then place the right foot down. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, left knee to chest. Left foot steps forward, drop down onto the right knee. Find your foundation and then sweep the arms up. Thumbs back, palms in. Come to the breath. And then bring the hands onto the left knee. Sweep your right arm over to the right. You might follow the hand with your gaze. And then bring the right hand back onto the left knee and reach the left arm over to the left. Bring that left hand back onto the left knee. Bring both hands down, framing left foot. Tuck the back toes and then raise up your left leg, reaching right up into the heel. And then place the left foot down. Look towards your feet. Have your feet about hip width apart. Bend your knees and then walk the hands in towards the feet. And as you do that, drop the heels down and rest your belly onto your thighs. So the knees are bent at this point. And then we're going to bring the hands to the backs of the legs and walk the hands up the backs of the legs until you find your lower back. Interlace your fingers, reach the arms up, knees are bent. And then reach the arms up and over the head, just gently squeezing the shoulder blades in. And you might just move the arms from side to side. See how that feels. You might then start to straighten up one leg and then the other or both legs. And then we're going to press down into the feet and slowly come up to standing. Release the hands as you come up and then let the arms float up so that the hands will be parallel. Feet about hip width apart. Breathe in here, and then as you breathe out, reach over to your uh, right with the left arm. Really reach, reach, reach. Pressing down into your left heel, then come back through to centre, and then reach over to the other side. Reaching over to the left with the right arm. Coming back through to centre, and then bring the hands to the heart. You might bring your feet together or you might keep your feet hip width apart. Bring your awareness to your breath, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, inhaling nose and exhaling nose. So we're just cultivating a soft ujjayi breath, ocean breath. So it sounds a little bit like the waves on the ocean in the distance and there's a you can feel the breath at the back of the throat. So we're inhaling nose, exhaling nose, inhaling to the sky, exhaling to the earth. Inhale, the arms reach up. As you exhale, take your arms wide and fold forward, leading with your heart. Bring the hands onto the shins and lift the chest, look forwards. Exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands down, step your right foot and your left foot back so that you're in a plank pose, your body in a lovely long line. Holding plank for a couple of breaths, really lifting up that space at the back of the heart and feeling a line of energy from the crown of the head to the space between the heels. Breathe in. As you breathe out, drop down onto knees and lower all the way down onto your belly. And then reach your arms forward and out to the sides. 
As you inhale, lift up your arms and lift up your legs, reaching into the fingertips and the toes. Take a couple of breaths here. Breathing in, reaching up, lifting a little bit more, and then exhale and release. Let's catch hold of the elbows. Rest the forehead onto the top arm and then just rock your hips from side to side. Good, and then bring your elbows under your shoulders, have the forearms parallel. Turn your knees in a little bit, press down into all 10 of your toe knuckles and lift the heart forward and up through the gateway of the arms. So you're opening and lengthening the front side of the body, lengthening from the tips of the toes all the way up to the crown of the head, hugging shoulder blades into the upper back. Beautiful. And then from here, if you want to, you can turn your fingertips out and press into your hands and lift the elbows and come up a little bit more, but only do that if that feels okay in your lower back. And then we can lower all the way down to the ground. Bring the hands under the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift up the hips, spreading fingers nice and wide, let go of your head. Drawing the navel back, opening the armpits wide. Feeling the weight of your body evenly distributed through the hands and the feet. So as if you had four feet. Good. Breathing in, bend the knees, look forward. Step right foot and left foot forward. Bring the hands on the shins, lift up the chest. Exhale, fold in. Press down into the feet, sweep arms up, all the way up. And then bring the hands back to the heart and just take a moment here scanning through the body good inhale the arms up exhale pour it down inhale the hands on the shins lift chest exhale bend knees plant hands step right foot left foot back plank pose and then come down onto knees and lower your whole body down to the ground Slide the arms forward again, so the elbows are under the shoulders. And now we're going to bring the right hand to the left elbow and then roll onto the right hip. Bend your bottom leg and then take your first two fingers and thread them around your left big toe. So we're gonna press that into that right elbow and then start to extend the top leg and then maybe extend the bottom leg. You can keep it bent, that's a bit easier with it bent. You don't have to straighten the top leg, you could have it that bent as well. So you're drawing your sacrum forward and then you're drawing the floating ribs and the navel back and you're drawing that leg in towards you. Pressing down into the right elbow. Good, let's take that to the other side. So if you come down onto your belly and then roll onto the other side, Pressing down into your left elbow, you're lying on your left hip and maybe bottom legs extended or bent and then you're taking the first two fingers, threading around the right big toe, maybe extending bottom leg and then lifting up the right leg and make sure you press down into that left elbow, drawing the shoulder away from the ear and then you're drawing the leg in towards you, as much as feels comfortable. So you're kind of pulling the leg in and then slightly resisting with the leg at the same time, drawing the floating ribs back and the navel back. Good, and then gently release. Lower back down onto your belly. And then let's take the hands out to the side so that the fingertips are in line with the shoulders. Press down into the fingertips. And then inhale, coming up. And then exhale and lower down. Bring the hands under the shoulders, tuck the toes. Lift up the hips, spreading fingers nice and wide. Let go of your head. Good, and then raise up your right leg, reach into the heel, bring your right knee in towards your chest, step your right foot forward, stack the right knee over the right heel and then sweep the arms up, thumbs back, palms in. So you're in a high lunge now. Good, you can bring the hands together if you like. As you inhale, start to straighten up the right leg and then as you exhale, bend the knee. Inhaling, straightening up that right leg. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhaling, and then exhaling. Bring the hands down, frame your right foot, plant left hand, reach up with the right arm, turning the chest, 
turning to look up, deep breath in, and then exhale the right hand down, step back into plank, and then make your way down onto your belly, going all the way down, bring the hands under the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift the hips, spread the fingers nice and wide. And then raise up the left leg. Bring the left knee to the chest. Step the left foot forward. And then rising up to the high lunge. Thumbs back, palms in. Really reach into that back heel. Could bring the hands together. And bend the elbows a little bit. Breathing in, straightening up left leg. And then exhale, bend the knee. Inhaling and exhaling. Last one, inhaling and exhaling. Bringing hands down, framing left foot, planting the right hands down, reaching up with the left arm, turning the chest, turning to look up, deep breath in, and then exhale, left hand comes down. Step right foot forward, lift chest. Exhale, fold in. Press down into the feet, sweep the arms up, slightly arching back, and then bring the hands back to the heart. Just take a moment here, scanning through the body, noticing breath, noticing sensation, anything else that arises, and then let's come through Surya Namaskar B. So we're gonna bring the feet together, big toes touching, sit down into an imaginary chair, Sweep the arms up for Utkatasana, drawing the navel back, rooting the sacrum down, deep breath in, and then as you exhale, fold forward. Bring the hands on the shins, lift chest. Exhale, bend knees, plant hands, step right foot and left foot back, plank pose, come to knees, lower all the way down to the ground. Bring the hands under the shoulders, hug your elbows in, have a sense of pulling your hands towards your feet as you lift the heart and chest forward and up. And then exhale, lower down. Press down into the hands, tuck the toes, lift the hips, spread your fingers nice and wide, let go of your head. Cup your left heel in, step your right foot forward, and then rise up like a warrior, thumbs back, palms in. Deep breath in here. As you breathe out, turn over to your left, open up through your arms, warrior two. Reach right into your fingertips. Turn the right palm up, reach up. Left hand moves down the back of left leg. Then you're coming back into a warrior two. And then bringing your right elbow onto your right thigh and reaching straight up with the left arm. Either you're reaching straight up or you're reaching up and over. Good. And then inhaling back into warrior two. Taking hands down, framing right foot, stepping back to plank. Coming through your vinyasa. You might drop down onto knees, lower all the way down to the ground. Let's take the arms alongside the body and then inhale and lift everything up. Reaching fingertips towards the heels, lifting navel, lifting thighs, deep breath in, and then exhale, release. Just gently rock your hips from side to side, freeing up the lower back. Bring the hands under the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift up the hips, spread your fingers nice and wide. Cup your right heel in, step your left foot forward, and then rise up, warrior one. Thumbs back, palms in. Feel the qualities of the warrior. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, turn over to your right, open up, warrior two. Left palm faces up, reach up. Right hand moves down the back of the right leg. Come back through, warrior two. Exhale to side angle pose. Leaning onto your left thigh with your left elbow. Reaching up and over, turning the chest. Inhaling back into warrior two. And then bringing both hands down, framing left foot. Step right foot forward, lift the chest. Exhale, fold in. Bring the big toes together. Sit down into your imaginary chair. Squeeze the thighs in, sweep the arms up. Utkatasana. And then press down into the feet, straightening up the legs. Bring the hands back to the heart. Bring your awareness to your breath, to your heartbeat sensation in your body and that was the first part of this session second part will follow